Uh, hi guys, how's it going? My name is Chris, this is World Next Gaming, and we are playing through uh, Bloodborne. So, last time uh, for this, we just finished doing, um, where did we go? We went through um, uh, Hypogee in Jail, uh, killed Pal, the Dark Beast, and went back to Old Jarnum uh, to get the uh, Powder Keg key and some uh, little motes as well. Um, so we're on our way to the, uh, the Dark Woods, on the way to Bergenworth, that's our next destination, uh, but we're going to stop off at a few places on the way, or optional areas. Oh, hello. The whole town's turned, has it? Quite a big family now, aren't we? Though, uh, I'm afraid I seem to be the black sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Back for my blood, I presume. Do we... We don't want to get her blood. Oh, that's a pity. And... Well, I was just about to take it then, but we don't want to take that. Oh. Better we ever get into this mess. <laughs> Crazy. Um, okay, so let's continue with this. So we get the um the password for the next area like as soon as we kill a Vicar Amelia. So everything we've been doing, like most of the things we've been doing up until now are, are optional areas, so you don't have to do them. Uh, but it's always good to uh to explore the game, pick up those extra items. big guys have gone then they're just not um roaming around bit of a beastly growl to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral and that councillors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well. Once, a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, 
abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the healing church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Ah, there's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master Lugarius. Once, a scholar betrayed his fellows at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. Um. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. Um, okay. So we've already got the password. We got that from... Uh, Vicar Amelia's... Well, the, uh... After defeating Vicar Amelia. <laughs> the password. The password. Yeah, the old blood. Be created by a court. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know why, but it just reminded me of that, like, uh, that drunk skeleton. It's a drunk skeleton from something. It just keeps, like, drinking from a cartoon. Anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> just can't remember what it's from. So th this area is probably one of my like least favorite places in the game, Forbidden Woods. Just because it, it's it's kind of like there's like one or two branching paths, but the destinations are the same. I mean, there there is one place across here that takes you somewhere else, but it's just like. Yeah, the main path takes you in one direction, but there's all these little uh, branches that trail off. Loads of items scattered about. What the fuck was that? This guy's throwing bombs. doused in some oil. Is there anything up here? Timing is off. So that's it for this bit. Oh, 
Oh, I'm just kind of like looking everywhere as well. This is, I don't know, it's, it's a bit hard for me to see. If there's any like hidden paths or anything. I've been, I've only been through, I've been through this part like twice, I think, altogether. Uh, there's a way forward. What's the bridge? Uh, this room is just uh, a shortcut. I will unlock a bit later. Let's collect them pebbles. And some antidote. We're gonna need a lot of those. Uh, I'm, I'm not planning on clearing this place just yet. Because uh, I wanted to go for another optional area first. Oh my god. Booby trap. <laughs> get to this bit. I, I think I just want to get to. There's a house I want to get to. Okay, can't stagger those guys. Paths around here. You are This is just the other way down, right? Where we would have come up from, so we just started off, we just went up that way instead. Um let's head back down. It's kind of, which it doesn't bother me too much because I mean if we're if I'm even just like backpedaling just a little bit. Gives a bit of time for these items to load up. Uh, I think I want to be on this side. Okay, and there's the little uh, village area. So there's only like one bit to go. Like up there, that's the way to progress. I'm just, uh, just wondering what's up here now. Uh, 
that car on the road. Oh shit. <laughs> I just jumped a bit then. Now we're like somewhere halfway in the in the village. Um I think we've got the pit down there. some crows down here. Okay, entrance, been through that one. Won't be around this side. Yeah. Good file, well path this way. Jeez. Oh god, just hearing everything uh, through headphones. Just making me jump a bit. I hear about this game, there are quite a few jump scares. Such body. I guess that's where we would have ended up. So I'll, I'll, I hate this bit as well, so I'm probably going to be doing a lot of a uh, bit of back and forth around here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go up top first. Just to make things a little bit easier. around this way and hopefully we should be able to get the item that I need from up here. Solace 
and the blood imbibes you. <laughs> A most frightful fate. Oh my. But I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we've got the tonsil stone. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. Seek you the ancient shrouded church, hidden to the right of the main cathedral. The gift of the Godhead. Is that the guy speaking? Let's get some uh, free hits. Uh, so there's one or two more things I want to do around here before I uh, go to that other area. Best way to deal with those guys, with the best rolls. And it's usually that they'll, they'll do their like slow wind up attack and then straight after do the kick, the fast kick. And there's that bridge across there. Uh, so I'll we'll be going there. In a little while. Uh, beast roll. Forbidden hunter tools made by irreverent Izzy. Borrow the strength of the terrible undead of dark beasts. If only for a moment to blast surrounding foes back with a force of, of a roaring beast. The indescribable sound of his broadcast with the caster's own vocal cords, uh, which begs the question what terrible things lurk deep within the frames of men? the house um if you go around this side behind this cage here this is gonna lead us back uh, that's gonna lead us to Yosefka's clinic I think that was a ladder church stuff. Um, and this just brings the... Uh, Uh, 
So I'm gonna get as far as the, uh, the shortcut first. Uh, was there anything around here? Uh, okay, that's where I went into that swamp area. dead. So yeah, it's just a little safer to go over, to go over the top rather than run through here because this is oil. And those guys are throwing firebombs down. this one. Just uh, a shortcut back to the uh, upper edge where we on the pit of crows. Um, and then we've got this place. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. the corner area.
which one? Did I run out of that one? I might have. Whoa! That was some serious damage. Let's run away. <laughs> Shit. Wow, all those cannons hurt. I'm pretty sure I came from this bit, but. Great materials in this area. down here. Okay, so we've got a shortcut area here. These guys are hitting hard, and some poisons as well. I'm just gonna unlock this this shortcut first before we get any further in this area. Just the next bit's kind of there. Uh, the actual woods. An accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volta, master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs, and mad doctors? 
Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League Confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? Um, uh, I don't know too much about this. Uh, sure. Yes, as a hunter well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. Impurity. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows, your League Confederates. <laughs> No, there is one thing you must know. By the oath of the League, those who bear its rune will see vermin. Vermin writhe deep within all filth and are the root of man's impurity. All vermin are to be crushed. The League exists to expunge all vermin, ridding us of any trace of human corruption. And so, until we are rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work. But remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing. And each other. Always. Always. So we're going to exterminate vermin. So this looks like a, like a co-op NPC. Um, uh, impurity. Uh, what are the effects of that? Boost max HP during co-op by 2%. Okay, uh, I can't ruin that. Trans that transcribes inhuman sounds. This rune, discovered inside the Forbidden Beast Eater, came to symbolize impurity and the oath of the League. Confederates of the League cooperate with hunters from other worlds and hunt to discover vermin. Vermin writhe within filth and are the root of man's impurity. Crush all vermin without hesitation. Um, so I haven't tried this before, but if you have this equipped and do co-op, then you see new enemies. And I guess when you kill them, you get uh, items which you can kind of rank up with this uh, covenant. This is a lot of, uh, they do this a lot in uh, From Software games. They have kind of covenants in the game uh, where you can Obtain items for them and rank up to gain uh, s some more, like some special item. Uh, okay, so we just unlock the shortcut. 